We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies. In this clip, I'll cover actor Paul Link. So he's known for his role as Officer Arthur Artie Grossman on the television series Chips. This ran for six seasons from 1977 with Eric Estrada and Larry Wilcox. He was in Motel Hell in 1980 with Rory Calhoun. Alright, so I took a look at Paul Link. Alright, I got this narrowed down to, to two possibilities. I think he could be from Phantom of the Paradise from 1974. Okay, so from this movie, I think he looks like actress Jessica Harper, uh, who's Phoenix, and possibly... Okay, some connections. Yeah, there is one. Uh, actor Brian Libby was in an episode of Chips with Paul Link. And um, actor Michael Dorn was in this episode. He's uh, Lieutenant Worf of the Klingon on Star Trek The Next Generation. Brian Libby was in Silent Rage in 1982. And this starred Chuck Norris. William Finley was also in this movie. Alright, so the second possibility as to actors who may resemble Paul Link. And uh, yeah, I think he actually resembles uh, Gary Cole. Besides being Luke Skywalker in Star Wars uh, from 1977, Mark Hamill, he was also a prolific voice actor. And uh, he did the voice of the Joker in the Batman animated show in the early 90s. But I found two cartoons, uh, these are animated series, where both Mark Hamill and actor Gary Cole acted together. I think uh, the most uh, notable, this would be uh, Justice League Action. Episode title, A Bait and Switch, Shazam Slam. Episode aired December 16th, 2016, Season 1, Episode 4. Also in this episode were actor Sean Astin. The other show that featured Mark Hamill and Gary Cole, this would be Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. The episode is X Gets the Crest, August 7th, 2005, Season 3, Episode 3. They were in this together with uh, Stephen Colbert. And um, Peter McNichol was also in this. Okay, connections. Both Mark Hamill and Paul Link were in separate episodes of the ABC series Hooperman. And this aired between 1987 and 1989. So we're on a YouTube channel. It's Easter Egg Psychic. And there I go back and I look at movies and television from the past to analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anecdotes, idioms, anagrams, and also look at the likenesses of the actors. You can take some of the anecdotal items and link them to the likenesses. You can often see information about the past and future roles of actors who may resemble the actor in the movie that you're watching. So if you like my videos, you can contact me. My email address is eggguy at yahoo.com. And uh, thanks for watching.